If you're watching this video and you do want to land an internship, I would do the following, building two really solid programming projects. I say two because you want to focus on quality over quantity, and it doesn't help you to have six, seven, eight different programming projects on your resume. Companies want to see that you're able to build something and that you can do this on your own and make something impactful. You don't need tons of different projects to showcase that. You just need one or two really well done ones that demonstrate that you do understand what software engineering is, you know how to build software, and ideally you can build something that actually solves a real world problem. Next, for all of your resume points, you want to put them in the following format, some kind of action you took, some kind of task or responsibility you had, and then some outcome or some impact that you achieved, ideally that's quantifiable. If you can do that, it's gonna make this seem a lot more professional and demonstrate that the work you're doing actually does something and has real world impact. Lastly, it's important to adjust your resume based on the type of roles that you're applying for. So many people just make the resume once and they never adjust it. That's a huge mistake. You can constantly tweak it and especially things like the list of skills, you can modify that and uh, kind of change that based on the positions you're applying to.